Let's go back to the phone lines. We'll talk to David in Midland, Texas, listening on Sirius XM 131. Hi, David. Hi, Hank. How are you doing? I'm doing well, thank you. Hey, well, sorry I'm driving here if there's some road noise. But, uh, yeah, I appreciate you taking my uh, question. Um, we moved church. We moved cities about three years ago. I've been kind of hunting for a church. And uh, uh, as we've been looking around, we've come across, I kind of feel like God's leading us towards some charismatic churches, which is new to me. Um, I grew up in a Methodist church, and I have several friends that are Baptists. So um, I was just kind of curious what your opinion was on that and the topic of the, the gifts either uh, uh, ceasing or still being uh, you know, in play today. And uh, I'll hang up and listen. Sure. Uh, the baptism of the Holy Spirit and Pentecostalism is called the evidence of the infilling of the Holy Spirit. Charismatics don't hold that position. They hold the position that it may be a evidence, but they don't say it's the evidence. And certainly there are charismatic churches that f- are, are, are fully within the pale of orthodoxy. Uh, so I, I think what you need to do is ultimately look at Uh, the goal. What are you aiming at? A lot of people shoot the arrow at the wall and draw the bullseye around where it lands, uh, but you have to uh, figure out in advance, what is it that I'm aiming for? And what you're aiming for is a healthy, well-balanced church. You want a church in which word and sacrament uh, is the the, the means by which you worship God in spirit and in truth. So you want the proclamation uh, of the word and, and, and the dispensing of the sacraments. Um, you also want a church in which you can feel that you have a contribution to make to the body. Uh, and, and to get some kind of sense of what I'm talking about there, I think it's helpful to read uh, Romans chapter 12. A- and, and then finally, you want a church in which you can be equipped to be a more effective tool in the hands of the Holy Spirit as you go out and seek to make a difference in this world. Uh, so this is not about being equipped uh, for evan- this, this is not a, uh, just uh, evangelism per se. It's being equipped for evangelism uh, so that you can be an effective witness. Uh, so again, worship, uh, God, critical. I mean, that's what we do when we walk into a church. We are worshiping God. Uh, we want to make sure that we have a church in which we are genuinely connected to the rest of the body, oneness, and then and then equipped for witness.